Chad Cool is very comfortable. He played in the division. Number of starts, a number of successful outings. Yelich back in the leadoff spot. Eight homers, 32 runs batted in coming in. And he pulls that one firmly. That's down. And it's going to get by Joe. Yelich can fly. He's on his way to second. Now he's going to go to third. And the throw cut off. Yelich is in there. And Connor Joe's hurt. I was wondering why it took him so long to get up. Uh, he dives for it, stays on the ground for a while. I think he hurt something out there. And by the time he goes and gets it, Christian Yelich is in with a triple. He's walking away from him. I think he trying to uh, tell him he's okay and he wants to stay in the game. Early scoring opportunity for the Brewers. Runner at third, nobody out. Adamas rips one to right. Got some carry. Joe toward the line and he makes the catch in fair territory. This is going to bring Yelich home and the Brewers are on the board. Sacrifice fly at an RBI for Willie Adamas. It'll be a strikeout but a wild pitch will allow Wong to reach and first and second with two outs. Two two. Look out. Drilled him. Renfro hit by a two strike pitch. A rare knuckle curve by Chad Cool hits Hunter Renfro right in the back. One nothing Brewers. Bases are loaded now and it's Luis Urias. And Urias a ground ball and it gets by Hanson. In to score McCutcheon. Long right behind him. In to second base goes Urias. And the Brewers lead three to nothing. That'll be a double and two RBIs for Luis Urias. So close for Hampson to be able to keep that one in the glove and end the inning, but just trickles off the end of his glove. And Luis Arias with a couple of runs batted in here in the first. So the Rockies get a fortunate hit. First and second, one out. So that'll bring up Randall Gritchick on Friday. That's through the left side. Here comes Rogers to the plate. And the throw is a little closer, I think, than uh, Brendan realized. But fortunately, he scores, and it is a 3-1 to one game as Gritchick comes through. RBI number 43 for Randall Gritchick. And a called strike three. Inside corner, Diaz didn't like it. It was right there. Here's Garrett Hampson now. The 2-1. And a fly ball, center field, hit well. Davis is back at the wall. He makes a catch. Yikes. To the deepest part of the ballpark. A 400 foot out. And you heard some boos there. That's because Chris Bryant has come up to bat. And this ball to left center field. And this is going to take one off and skip off the wall. And they have more reason to boo. It'll be a one out double for Chris Bryant. So here's Charlie Blackman. Charlie had that soft line out to the shortstop the first time up. And this ball is going to drop and a pretty good read by Bryant. He's around third. He's coming home. No throw from Davis and the Rockies are within a run. Charlie Blackman coming through RBI number 58. Also an 11 game hit streak now for Charlie. Understanding where the defense was playing. Also how hard it was hit knowing it's going to fall in there to come around and score easily. Did the right thing. Notice how he turned his body to the outfield because you turn your body you're able to get a cleaner look rather than trying to keep your body towards the infield looking over your shoulder. Got a man at first here with Hunter Renfro. Swing a line drive out towards left center. Backing up. Way back. Gone again for Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro has homered in three consecutive games. A two-run shot this time. Second walk issued by Eric Lauer today, and Chris Bryant is the batter. High fly ball, deep right field. He's got some carry to it, and it's gone. Opposite field, two-run home run, Chris Bryant, and the Rockies are within a run. So you got Iglesias at second, Richick at first, above average speed for both of those guys, and Diaz at the plate. That's to right for a base hit. Iglesias around third. This will tie up the baseball game. Going first to third is Grichik. Elias Diaz coming through. 5-5 five, five in the sixth inning. And still no one out for the Rockies. Second walk of the inning. Now the bases are loaded. And now you figure the Brewers bullpen's got to get busy, doesn't it? A one on Joe. 
And this is slowly hit the second. Wong's only got one play. That's to get Joe. The Rockies take the lead on the RBI ground out as Gritchick scores. That worked out just about as well as anything. And a swing and a miss. He tied him up. He went back to the fastball. Yeah, that one had some tilt on it. That was a nice pitch. With Blackman coming up, Craig Council has a lefty ready in Hobie Milner. That's a fastball right there. A called strike three. And Hobie Milner, the Houdini of this Brewers bullpen, does it again. Tyrone Taylor getting ready for an at bat here in the sixth. Late in the game. Hits Allen high and deep right center. This one's got a chance. Gritchick will watch it fly. Tyrone Taylor ties it at six. A pinch hit home run for Taylor sends Bernie down the slide. And we're all even in the sixth inning. Ball four, and they're loaded up for Elias Diaz. This is going to get through the right side, another base hit. One runner scored. Here comes Rogers to the plate. Throw on its way. Not going to get him. Elias Diaz once again comes through. And the Rockies lead it 8 to 6, a three RBI afternoon for Diaz. Brewers have scored six times in this game. They've only had two at bats with runners in scoring position. Here's Andrew McCutcheon. Touching fly ball right field slicing long run for Joe and that's down fair bounces into the seats for the automatic double man that ball is in the air a long time and Joe's had his troubles out there today mystery you know out there for Connor Joe here's Brasso had a pinch hit single yesterday and Brasso hammers one into the gap to all it goes McCutcheon will score. Brasso into second with an RBI double. A pinch hitting savant. Mike Brasso delivers. Yep, all the numbers made it a pretty good move for Craig Council. Well, he's looked good on his pinch hitting decisions today. Tyrone Taylor went deep. Now Brasso. And now two men are on. And the tying run in scoring position. Swing and a smash to right. Yelich is going to score the tie run. Willie Adamas will hold at third. And Pelaz delivers with two outs. Another two strike RBI hit for the Brewers. And now Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon rips one. Center field over the head of Daza. In the score of Damas. Telez right behind him. Andrew McCutcheon. Call him Andrew McCutcheon. Brewers have the lead 10 to 8. Two up, two down via the strikeout route. And the right handed batting Garrett Hampson is in there. In the air to center field. This is well hit. And it is off the wall. It's crashing into it as Taylor. And Hampson will cruise into third with a stand up triple. And that will get the time run to the plate. This is looped to right. It'll drop. The Rockies with it a run. And the go ahead run coming up in Chris Bryant, who has the most experience on the club in facing Hayter. And Bryant, little half swing. This ball's in play. Hayter fumbles with it, recovers, gets it to Telez. And the ball game is over. The Brewers win a wild one on a Sunday afternoon. 10 to 9, the final.